Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org here with another review. And today we're checking out the new Blink Outdoor. Now Blink has renewed their entire line of cameras. So we're gonna check out the refresh, give you all the details, everything you need to know to see if this is the right camera for you. And if you're more of the written word type, head on over to security.org where we have a comprehensive written review. Be sure to check it out. All right, let's kick off today's look at the Blink Outdoor Camera, talking about what we liked about this device. And we liked the fact that they did not try to reinvent the wheel. Blink knows what they can do, they know what they're good at, and that is creating a device that has a long lasting battery. I mean, that's proprietary technology that allows them to say that their device is gonna work for two years off of a single uh, charge. Well, not even a charge, really, just two AA batteries. And what's incredible about that with the Blink is that the fact that they actually upgraded everything else about this camera in terms of features and things that they're bringing to the table while maintaining that two years of battery life. In addition, the video quality on the Blink Outdoor is pretty solid. It streams pretty well, it detects motion, I can see what's going on, and I can even, you know, download and share those clips pretty easily. And speaking of, you know, choosing clips and things of that nature, I do love the fact that they've added even more when it comes to customizing your experience with the Blink Outdoor, from motion uh, detection, sensitivity, to privacy zones, to motion activity zones, uh, clip length, there's a lot of things for you to make your own when it comes to the Blink Outdoor. Now, what didn't we like about the Blink Outdoor? Well, we didn't love the fact that you have to consistently press continue after every 30 seconds of live streaming. Because if you don't press continue, uh, the video stream will cut off. Now, I'm assuming that is a battery saving feature, uh, but it's still not our favorite thing to do with when we're trying to watch uh, our dog learn new tricks in the backyard. All right, let's talk about what's new with the Blink Outdoor Camera, but really we're talking about what's new when it comes to Blink in general. So Blink has now added something called the Sync Module 2. Now this is what is necessary in order to actually have your Blink camera connect to the internet and be able to actually see what's going on. And what's great about the Sync Module 2 is the fact that now there is the ability to add local storage. So if you were like, you know, cloud storage is not for me, or I want two different options, well, I can get that USB drive up to 64 gigabytes, and the Sync Module 2 can support that for up to 10 cameras. So you can have your entire system uh, running with that Sync Module 2 and that local storage option. In addition, they are also coming out with a battery expansion pack. Now, we haven't had our hands on that. We've not gotten to actually use it yet, but apparently it will add even more battery life to your individual cameras. What are you gonna get with the Blink Outdoor Kit? Well, with the Blink Outdoor Kit, you're gonna get the camera itself. You're gonna get a sync module for actually connecting it to the internet. You're gonna get two AA energizer batteries for you know ensuring you have that nice long battery life. You're gonna get a USB cable for the sync module, along with mounting hardware for the camera itself and a tool to help you pop off the back of that camera and install your batteries. The camera itself is pretty solid. Uh, it's weather resistant, according to Blink. Um, and now that means it should handle, you know, your typical rain, snow, and sleet. Uh, so far, it's done pretty well in the New York and mountain uh, fall. And I'm interested to see how well it performs once we hit winter, considering its temperature range is minus four to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I wanna talk about the installation process with the Blink Outdoor, and it's overall pretty straightforward. The first thing you're gonna do, of course, is download the Blink app. Now, once you have the Blink app downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to take out your sync module. Now, if you already have an existing sync module, you can add this camera to that system. But let's act as if you are just starting out for the first time, in which case you're gonna to wanna to set up your sync module using the Blink app on your home's Wi-Fi. From there, you're gonna to wanna to use the tool that comes with your device to pop off the back of the Blink Outdoor Cam, put in the two Energizer batteries that come with it, and while that back is still off, you're going to scan the QR code to sync it with, what else? Your sync module. Then you're gonna put the back back on, and voila, you're ready to start seeing what's going on in front of you. Now, you probably wanna put this into place that's a little Bit, you know, not as easy to reach, so I'm gonna run and grab it. And if you wanna mount it, you're gonna take that mounting hardware, put that in place, and then you're just gonna pop the Blink Outdoor right on. I promise you, you can be done with this entire process in less than 15 minutes. Now let's take a closer look at what exactly the Blink Outdoor does and how well it can do it. Now the Blink Outdoor is an outdoor, which means 
weatherproof wireless camera that can let you live stream or set up motion detection to have events being triggered be viewable by you on your mobile device. Now you can even do two-way audio through that same mobile device with the speaker and mic built into the Blink Outdoor. Hey Gabe, what a nice day it is today. When it comes to the video quality on the Blink Outdoor, it's pretty solid. You can have up to 1080p high definition and it has a 110 degree field of view. So it's definitely capturing daytime crisply, clearly, and it's capturing a significant portion of what's going on. Of course, we always like to see a wider uh, field of view, but it's definitely adequate. Now, when it comes to night vision, I will state that it is finicky. Uh, you do have to situate the camera properly uh, in order to see things well. I mean, for example, you have one thing out of place. As soon as you get up to the front of the camera, it can completely um, white out your face. I mean, you can see in these shots uh, how I'm just not exactly clear, uh, but if you're willing to be patient, you can probably come up with a system that is sufficient for your use when it comes to night vision, considering its infrared LED capabilities. Fortunately, Blink is an Amazon owned company, which means that it does have integrations with Amazon Smart Assistant, which means that if you'd like to send the video from the Blink directly to your Echo Show, uh, you can do so. If you wanna arm or disarm your cameras just by using your voice, that's all possible with that integration with the Smart Assistant. Now, I don't wanna overlook how easy it is to manage clips with the Blink Outdoor. And by manage, I mean, you know, download, watch, share. It's really straightforward. There's seriously just a timeline available for you. You go into the timeline, you hit watch, you can hit download. Just one tap, I can watch it, I can download it, I can share it. I mean, very straightforward, very easy, and it really facilitates uh, just enjoying uh, your actual Blink outdoor camera. This leads us to the storage options for actually reviewing all of these clips and managing these clips with Blink Outdoor. Now you have the new option with your Sync Module 2, which is getting that local storage up to 64 gigabytes. Uh, that's gonna work uh, really well in terms of just letting you put up to 10 cameras on it. Otherwise, you can go with the cloud storage option. Now the cloud storage option uh, is gonna be $3 per camera per month starting in 2021 or $10 for up to 10 cameras. Now that's gonna give you 7,200 seconds through that 60 days of rolling storage. Let's take a closer look at the full capabilities of the Blink Outdoor Camera with the Blink Home Monitor mobile application. So here I am checking out the Blink Outdoor on my iPhone 11. Now, right off the bat, you can see at the top, uh, you have the various systems that I have currently employed um, with Blink. You've got SDO, security.org, you've got new security.org, you got Mountain Blink, and then to the right of that, you can actually add a device if I want to add more devices. Now let's go ahead and jump into a live stream. Now with the live stream, I hit that button and you'll stay, see that the live stream pops up and voila, look, catching someone outside in the act. Now if I wanted to talk to this individual, I could do so. I could hit the talk button and boom, now this person can hear me outside uh, and that's what's going on. You can see their reaction. Now, if I wanted to go back, uh, I can actually um, jump out of here, close that, and you'll see that at the very bottom you have that disarmed and armed button. So disarmed means that it's actually not going to be looking for motion detection. But when you once you arm it, now anytime um, motion is triggered over there, you will be alerted through a notification directly to your mobile device. But I don't want to get interrupted while I'm doing this, so let's go ahead and hit that back to disarmed. Now. What's useful to know is that anything that has been triggered in the past, I can go ahead and see. So I can go back and let's see yesterday around noon, I can watch this video of an individual that was caught. And let's go ahead and start that video. And voila, look, you can see exactly what's happening here. Uh, people waving. Uh, this was all just triggered by the camera. This was not a live stream recording, but that of course is something you can also do along with taking snapshots a live view. So we were to go back here to our video. If I were to open this up, you see that I can once again see what's happening. I can decide to save that video uh, if I'd like to. 
So let's go ahead and now look at our settings. So if I look at our settings, you see this is our West Blink Outdoor. That's what I've named it. I can look at the battery, the temperature outside. Uh, I can enable that motion detection. I can even decide to set up various activity zones. So I'm not gonna pay attention to the zones that are grayed out, but it will capture anything happening in the zones um, that remain nice and bright. And I can actually do the same thing in a privacy zone. Here, I can actually decide where I don't want the camera to pick up in order to create uh, privacy uh, for those who may be found in that zone, maybe you can't help it uh, for one reason or another. So that's a really useful element to have with this device. You can even make them more advanced by looking at even smaller grid um, for that activity zone. So you really get some nice customization options with this particular device. Now, of course, I can decide on how long it takes me to uh, for motion to be re-triggered. Uh, so I'm not constantly getting the same uh, you know, motion detection, constantly re-triggering my device. I can look at my sensitivity from low to high. Right now we have it at seven. I can even decide on clip length. So if I would like uh, to record a full minute, I can do so from a minute on down. And I can even have it in the clip early if the motion stopped, uh, early notification, uh, all motion recording, and even have some night vision options uh, when it comes to controlling the infrared intensity, um, if I wanna have my microphone on and off. Now, when it comes to the video quality, remember that this device does just work off two AA batteries. So if you'd like to save more battery, you can of course change the quality from saver, standard, and best, but that will diminish the quality of the video from right to the left. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, when you're thinking about photo capture, uh, you have to decide, all right, do you want your camera to take a photo uh, every hour and appear as a collection uh, in that role? So I really appreciate all of these elements uh, within the app, but something that's even uh, cooler that you can see if you go into this gear settings, you can see all the different system settings. And I can jump into, for example, uh, the new Mountain Blink, and I can decide I want to schedule when it is doing its thing. So if I would like it to be armed and therefore uh, be triggered by motion events, I can decide Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm gonna be gone from three, uh, it's to arm it at uh, 6 a.m. when I go on a run, I can do that. Now my device is armed during those periods. So you really get a lot of flexibility. And of course I want to disarm it. I can have that happen at seven. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now I've created um, uh, the spaces in which it's actually going to be armed or disarmed. So you really do get more out of your Blink Outdoor than we've seen with previous uh, generations. And that's our look at the Blink Outdoor Blink Home Monitor mobile application. All right, so let's wrap up and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the Blink Outdoor Camera. Now, the Blink Outdoor Camera is solid. You're getting that 1080p high definition video if you want, um, but you also just have to think about what Blink themselves tell you about, which is that two year battery life of the two AA Energizer batteries. I mean, that element alone uh, makes you wanna take a glance at the Blink, but it also has really solid customization options in terms of the ability to set up privacy zones, motion activity zones, and even in terms of its customization for flexibility on where it's placed with the mounting hardware that comes with it, the ability for it to sit flat like it does in this desk, really allows you to put it just about anywhere outside of your home uh, that needs to have an eye kept on it. Uh, now, is it perfect? No, I really wish they could uh, improve their night vision. Um, the night vision definitely uh, could use some work, but overall, if you're looking for a wireless weather resistant camera uh, that's gonna last you a long time, the Blink Outdoor Camera is a great place to start. All right, that's it. That's our look at the Blink Outdoor Camera. Now, if you appreciate today's video, give us a like, drop us a comment, and subscribe to our channel, security.org, where we're gonna be dropping the latest in digital and home security each week. Now, all of the relevant links can be found in our description, including a full comprehensive written review at security.org. So once again, thanks for watching. My name is Gabe. Be secure.